Hiya, I'm Jackie Adzeji reporting for Wink Ball and what a wonderful, exciting morning we have planned. We are at the virtual reality show at the Business Design Centre in Islington. What's the virtual reality show, you may ask? You're just about to find out. So, so VR is short for virtual reality um, and that basically means a fully immersive digital world which you can basically jump into through the use of wearable technology. In this case, it's headsets. My colleague V um, is demoing one of our experiences which we did for Disney and Marvel for Iron Man. Basically, it allows you to wear the Iron Man suit and shoot the repulses as if you were Iron Man himself. Uh, we're using the HTC Vive sensors which uh, does room tracking so if you were to physically move your arms the model that you're controlling will also move its arms and that's why it's really immersive for people to play so it almost feels like you're there so this is brilliant so we've got microsoft hololens here today we're doing two demos of our mixed reality um, device called hololens which is the world's first and still only uh, untethered holographic computer that you wear you'll be able to insert digital objects into that environment. So whether that is inserting buildings and being able to see rooms, or whether you, for instance, with a hollow anatomy, insert a human body into your environment. So you can see around you, and you can also have other people wearing HoloLens also see the same thing with being able to see that there's a wall here, there's the floor in your environment around you. You can actually like look around and feel what if you like something and you can look down, up and 360 degrees, so it's, it's fun, but I feel a little bit dizzy sometimes, yeah. I didn't really feel like it's like a fake thing. I really feel like I'm having fun with someone and he's a true guy and lead me to like Osaka, the bar in Osaka and I didn't expect the, the end of the video. So it stops, oh shit, it's, it's fake and I suddenly realized that, yeah. I'm a skydiver. But for, for when you are learning skydiving, you can crash and break a leg or something. So training on virtual reality is something safe that you can do. And the only thing you can get is a, maybe a headache, but it's, only, it's not very common either. So I think I, that's why I love virtual reality. People are very curious, but the technology and the hardware is expensive. So until the price points come down, so you can get an Oculus Rift in your sitting room, um, there will be a lot of interest, but probably very little consumer engagement and feedback until there's more mass adoption in the marketplace. Three. Oh, oh my God. <gasps> so I can't lie to you guys, before I came here, I was like, I'm so not into tech. Now I'm sold. Virtual reality is amazing. I've tried on all types of virtual reality and AR sort of gear and it's just been amazing. I mean, it is definitely the future and it is here to stay. I feel so dizzy, so I'm going to get a Lucas A, but I've been Jackie Adeji reporting for Wink Ball. See you soon.